Chapter 2, Getting Around QuickBooks Navigating QuickBooks is an important part of working efficiently in the software. In this chapter, you'll learn the various ways of navigating. Specifically, the students will learn about logging into QuickBooks, how to understand the dashboard, using the navigation bar, using the create menu, the gear icon, and how to enter transaction forms. Signing in. First, it's important to note that it is strongly recommended that you use a Google Chrome browser. Google's Chrome browser will work across all platforms, including Mac and Windows. You can search for Google Chrome and download it for free. Once you've created your QuickBooks account, completed the setup, and logged out, you can log back in at any time by navigating to the following web address, ca.qbo.intuit.com. There, you'll enter your email or user ID and password. QuickBooks will sign you into the company, and you will see the, the company dashboard to start. It's a good idea that you bookmark this location to make sign-in simple and straightforward for your students. The Dashboard After signing in, QuickBooks displays the Dashboard. The Dashboard page contains information about your business. From the Dashboard, you can see the balances of your bank and credit card accounts, your recent income and expenses, and a variety of reminders and tasks. It also includes a simplified profit and loss statement. Let's look at it a little bit closer. In the income section, you can see your open invoices, which are invoices that customers haven't paid yet. You can also see all of the total sales that have been paid over the past 30 days. In the expenses section of the dashboard, QuickBooks Online displays your expense totals by account and you can also set the range of dates used to calculate this information. Below the invoices and expenses, QuickBooks displays your profit and loss statement, which compares income and expenses to calculate the net income of the business. The right side of the dashboard is divided into two sections. The top section displays information about your bank and credit card account balances and any new transactions downloaded from your bank feed. Finally, at the top of the dashboard, QuickBooks displays a toggle which switches the dashboard between normal mode and privacy mode. By default, the dashboard starts in normal mode. And while in normal mode, it displays bank and credit card balances along with expense and income accounts on various charts. When privacy mode is toggled on, these sensitive financial figures are no longer displayed. Navigation Bar The left side of QuickBooks always displays the Navigation Bar, or Nav Bar for short. The Navigation Bar is used to navigate between different pages that display information about customers, transactions you've entered, and many other topics. Let's review the items on the Navigation Bar. Clicking the dashboard changes your current view to the dashboard, which is also the first page that's displayed when you first log in to QuickBooks. Click the banking link to display the banking information for your company. QuickBooks displays the bank feed for your connected accounts. From here, you can begin to work with bank, checking, and credit card accounts. Click Bank Rules to view the bank rules that you've set up in your company file. Bank rules can be set up to tell QuickBooks what to do with bank items that meet particular conditions. Rules help you co control, customize, and automate how you use the banking page. Click the Sales link. This will change your current view to the Sales page. This page contains four tabs listed across the top. They include All Sales, Invoices, Customers, and Products and Services. All sales list all the transactions in, made in your company listed in date order. Click Invoices to display the Invoices dashboard. 
First, this page provides a graph of overdue and not yet due invoices. To the right, QuickBooks displays a graph of funds not deposited and deposited in the last 30 days. At the bottom of the window, QuickBooks provides a detailed list of sales invoices. Click Customers to display the Customer Center. The customer list displays each customer's name, phone number, and accounts receivable balance. It can also be expanded to display a customer's physical address and email address. Click Products and Services to view the products and services that you're selling in your business. Click Expenses to view all your company's expenses and suppliers. QuickBooks displays a list of all company expenses in date order. Click any expense to drill down to the details. From this page, you can also create new transactions and print checks as needed. Click Suppliers to view a list of all suppliers in the company. The Suppliers list displays each supplier's name, phone number, email address, and your account's payable balance with them. It can also be expanded to display the supplier's physical address, and you can create purchase and expense transactions directly from this list. Click Employees to manage your company payroll. From this window, you can set up and pay employees and manage your day-to-day -day payroll transactions. The Reports link changes your current view to the Report Center. From the Report Center, you can run any listed report by clicking its link. The Recommended Reports section is displayed when you first navigate to the Reports page. You can switch between different sections of the center by clicking the appropriate tabs, including Recommended, Frequently Run, My Custom Reports, Management Reports, and All Reports. The Taxes Center changes your view to the Sales Tax Center. From this window, you can see your current balance with all sales taxes you have set up, along with a breakdown of the collected amounts versus the paid amounts. New taxes and rates can be entered into QuickBooks with the New Tax button at the top of the window. You can also record payments, prepare returns, and run various sales tax reports from this center. Click Accounting and your view will switch to the chart of accounts. This lists all of the accounts used in your business to categorize transactions. By default, QuickBooks displays all of your accounts in this page. Click the Reconcile link at the top of the accounting page to display the Reconcile window. From this page, you can reconcile a variety of accounts in QuickBooks. Click My Accountant to invite your accountant to be part of your accounting. Enter your accountant's email address to send them an invitation. This is important in the education environment as this is where your students will go to invite you as their instructor to participate in their company file. Make sure that you do this as soon as possible after setting up the companies for your students. Use the navigation bar as needed to navigate around QuickBooks to find information and to perform transactions. The Create menu. The Create menu or plus symbol at the top of the QuickBooks window displays a list of transactions that you can create in QuickBooks. Transactions are grouped into four general categories, customers, for sales and sales-related transactions, suppliers, for expense and purchase-related transactions, employees, designed for entering time, and other, for transactions that could be either sale or expense-related, or an other type of transaction. Click any of the links in any of the four categories to display the transaction form. This will be the menu that your students will use on a day-to-day -day basis to enter sales and expense transactions in QuickBooks. This is the most important list for their day-to-day -day work that they will perform. Search in QuickBooks. The search field, which is displayed at the top of the QuickBooks window, resembles a magnifying glass. Click in the field to search for any of the options available to you. 
From the search field, you can enter a transaction number, date, or dollar amount to find transactions that match that data. Advanced search is also an option displayed directly beneath the search field to perform advanced searches when looking for particular transactions or names in QuickBooks. The gear icon. The gear icon, or company menu as it is sometimes called, is displayed at the top of the QuickBooks window and resembles a gear. This menu reveals a list of important options, settings, and lists. Most of the items listed in the gear icon are tasks or functions that are only performed periodically, such as reconciliations and budgeting. Or, they include lists that, once set up, are rarely used. Items like the chart of accounts, products and services, and other lists. Click the gear icon to see what's available. The gear icon will be an important part of the education program for particular tasks like bank reconciliations, budgeting, and other important topics that you'll cover in this class. The transaction window. Transactions in QuickBooks follow a standard template which largely remains the same regardless of the transaction type. Each transaction in QuickBooks has the following characteristics and they are always displayed in the same locations. First, who was involved in the transaction? This is the name of the customer, supplier, or employee to which the transaction pertains, and the field is always shown at the top left of the transaction. When the transaction happened. This is the date of the transaction, and in some cases the due date, and determines when the income, expense, or a check will be displayed on reports. What was sold or bought with the transaction? In the body of the form, there is a section to enter the product or service being sold to a customer or an appropriate account to categorize an expense. This section determines what account from the chart of accounts will be increased or decreased as a result of the transaction, or in other words, which accounts are debited and credited for the student. Finally, how much money the transaction represents. In the top right, QuickBooks displays the amount of money being spent on a check, expense, or the amount of money a customer is being charged on an invoice or a sales receipt. Included in the How Much section would be sales taxes. This would include sales taxes being charged to a customer or sales tax being incurred on an expense transaction. As you begin working in QuickBooks, you'll discover the best ways to enter the transactions for your specific company. This concludes the section on getting around QuickBooks. As your students get accustomed to working in QuickBooks, they'll find different ways to navigate. The Create menu, the gear icon, and the navigation bar will be fundamental parts of their day-to-day -day work in QuickBooks.